Hello, everybody. We are watching the race cars go around and around and around. Okay, so that's good. I have changed my sewing room into my production, YouTube production room. I'm sure your houses have had to change a little bit as well so that you can be doing school at home. And that's okay, it's kind of fun. All right, thanks, I had my helpers in here today. So thank you. They helped me get the racetrack going. So the reason I have the racetrack and I was down on the floor is because these are our books that we want to uh, read today for this lesson. So we have Meet the Animals, book number 117. And you can tell what our feature sound is today. And our next one is beep, beep, beep. That was the reason for my racetrack going. All right, so since we started out with the racetrack over there, let's go ahead and get ready for this book. Beep, beep, beep. Book number 118. So you may pause the video if you need to and get your book ready. We'll take a little picture walk before we read. That always gets our mind ready for reading. It helps us start thinking about things that might be in this story and things we already know that we don't need to worry about, hmm, I can't read that or gosh, maybe I don't understand that. So let's take a little picture walk very quickly. We don't even worry about the words yet, okay? So here we go. When I was doing my picture walk, I said, oh my gosh, we have a fun race track at our house. I'm gonna get that set up and those lights, and we should have turned the lights off. The lights on the cars go crazy and they glow in the dark, it's so fun. But I see this guy is zooming around and looks like a Jeep, doesn't it? So he's on Green Street and looky there. We can add another E spelling to our poster. They all say E, E by itself, E consonant E. So this second E would be silent. We've learned that, the sneaky E. And then two E's together, a little team in the middle of a word like green and street. There we go. That's a vowel team because they're side by side working together. And then this one, the sneaky E with a consonant in between. So beep, beep, beep. Oh my goodness. What does that mean if his wheels left the ground? Slow down. Did you notice on my racetrack that there was a sign that said 65 miles an hour? Hang on. This was on the racetrack, and I don't think those drivers were paying any attention to what their speed was. So I think that this guy is going way too fast because his Jeep caught some air. There's a farmer worried about, what if I have a sheep or a cow or something on the road? You need to slow down. What is your emergency? I don't know, we have to read. Sure enough, look at, there's a sheep. I think it was sleeping and it shouldn't be sleeping by the road anyway, but you should never drive that fast. Hmm. Oh boy, look at her out there. You don't need to drive that fast. Oh, and the sheep is mad. All right, hey. Let's take a look at our words on the back. Wow, what a list, huh? Do you know why that list is so long? Because you're getting smarter. And so you can't keep getting smarter if you don't practice more and make things harder. So woohoo, look at that. There's a lot of words on this page or on this back side to practice with endings on them. Look at this one, screech. 
ed can have three sounds ed t or d okay remember that so screech t -t, that time it has the t sound a lot of very very important phonics rules right here so if mom and dad or big brother sister are watching with you Super important to read these words again and again and again, besides reading the story. Um, maybe if we're tired of the story, we just read through these words once or twice. And what do we always do in class? Do you remember, guys? If we read them across one time, what do we do the next time? Sure, right, you bet. Maybe next time we read down, 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 down the list. What else could we do? Hmm, do you remember it's been a while since we've been in school, but hmm, tell me, what's another way to practice? Hey, we could read, start at the back of the list and read up or down. Maybe you want to have your whiteboard ready. I know I always do. I like my whiteboard. I like to have things ready. Yeah, like I can't find my marker, so. Yes, I wasn't ready. But anyhow, maybe look at the words, say it, and write it on your whiteboard, okay? So very important, moms, dads, families, okay? If we're kind of tired of reading the story, just spend a couple of minutes reading these words, okay? Every book has these words plus, okay, I'm gonna tell kids, Guess what? We should know all of these words too. So I hope you're not going, Mrs. Larson, you should be going, hey, kiss your brain because look how smart you are. All the words you can read and reading is so hard. Hey, I'm so proud of all you guys and how you have learned to read and recognize certain spellings. So let's get started. Crying out loud. Ready? Let's read the title. Go. Beep, beep, beep. That reminds me of the wheels on the bus. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Okay. Page one. Beep, beep, beep. Exclamation. Beep, beep, beep. That's how we should read because boy, is that fun. I know my family can hear me upstairs. Well, it's fun down here. Here we go. Page one. Hey, what do we see in front of that word I? Quotation marks. This guy is talking. Okay, that's why we see those quotation marks. Here we go. I must meet. D, 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 D. Let's try that again. I must meet D, D. I will be late, said Sam Sneed. 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 Sam Sneed. That's why he's speeding. He told D, D he would meet her. And for some reason, he got behind. So he's trying to speed. He, oh, let's take some time and sound this word out, okay? It's kind of a fun word. Skr, skr, e, ch, t. Cover that ed up, maybe. That's an ending that we don't need for the base word. Let's cover that up. Blend again. Sk -er -each. Screech. When the tires go fast and make that squealing sound, he is screeching because he's late. All right, let's try it again. He screeched up Green Street in his Jeep. Hey, we were right. We know what a Jeep is. We've seen those. Ready for page two? A man on Green Street came out to sweep, sweep. See, when we look at the picture, that helps us with the words. 
We see the picture in a broom. Of course, he's going to sw sweep. Sam sneeds. Jeep went beep beep. Remember, the Jeep belongs to who? Sam sneed. That's why there's an apostrophe S. It's his Jeep. Good thing. I wouldn't want him driving, borrowing my car and driving like that. So at least he's speeding in his own. Page three. A sheep, sheep was, cover up that ing. Okay, that word is pretty long. Let's cover up the ing. Ready to blend. So eep ing. Sleeping. Now we go back. A sheep was sleeping by Green Street. Sam Sneed's Jeep went, you do it. Beep, beep. Sam Sneed got to Dee Dee's home on Green Street. Oh, she lives on Green Street. Well, hello. A little commercial interruption here. We have Batman joining us. That's always fun. And if Batman was in this story, guess what he'd say to Sam Sneed? No speeding. Thank you, Batman, for helping with speeders. All right. Back to our production story. Fun little commercial there. Ready? Let's start over. Sam Sneed got to Dee Dee's home on Green Street. Remember, the home belongs to Dee Dee. That's why there's an apostrophe S. It's an ownership. Dee Dee owns the home. All right, let's keep going. Dee Dee was not glad. She said, here's our quotation marks, she's talking or yelling. Sam Sneed, we must not speed on Green Street. Thank you, Dee Dee, for making a citizen's arrest, citizen's arrest. That's from Andy Griffith, for those of you that used to watch that. Remember Barney made a citizen's arrest? So anyway, thank you, Dee Dee, for telling him to slow down. It's okay if you're late. Call ahead, Dee Dee. I'm running late, so I'll be there in a few minutes. I don't want to speed. That would have been a better thing to do. Sam, watch your speed limit. Don't be crazy. All right, you ready for our next story? I have some books I want to show you before we start. So here's a true fact about me, which I know you already know. I love books. I love, love, love books. I have a lot of hobbies, but books are probably my number one, I would say. So I have some favorite books that I want to show you. And it kind of goes along with Meet the Animals. This is an old book, and this is Children's Guide to Knowledge. But look at the plethora of information in here. Now, do I sit down and read this whole book? Absolutely not. And the fun thing that I love about this book is it's an informational book. I can just jump around. Maybe I want to go to the very end of the book, and I want to read um about science i don't have to read this book in order because it is full of facts tabby cats so let's say i'm looking for something specific like an ant eater i'm not going to flip through every page do you know where i'm going to go to find the one i want the table of contents or sometimes it's just called contents so I would look up Ant Eater, maybe, okay? So this is divided into pets. Hmm, 
Is an ant eater a pet? Probably not. Um, domestic animals, that would be like cows and horses. Eh. Wild animals, maybe an ant eater is a wild animal. And um, I don't see it on here. So maybe I want to pick giant armadillo. So I follow the dots on page 73. So I can just jump around in this book and boy, is it fun. Are you ready for the next book? You are going to be so surprised when you know this is my favorite. Mary had a little lamb. I love this. This was one of my daughters got this in 1994. Got this as a, from a gift, as a gift. So this is so fun. We love to read that one and sing the song. Okay, my newest book, guys, out back. That means Australia, but watch this. Look at how that, how the kangaroo is moving. You ever seen a book like this? Isn't that fun? And do you remember last winter, all the fires in Australia? And now of course on the news is this virus. And so we don't hear about um, Australia anymore, but look at that. All you do is move the page. It kind of has that scratchy surface. Look at this dude. Look at that bird. Is that so cool? So it has the name of the animal up there and quite a bit to read about them. But again, I don't read the whole book at one time. I just pick a favorite page. Look at this fun little guy. And this is called the Wombat. Okay, hang on to your favorite stuffed animal or hang on to your mom because this one is freaky. Are you ready? Look away if you can't handle it. How fun is that? That is called the peacock spider. Guess why it's called the peacock spider? And our favorite Australian animal? What is it, guys? Is that like an amazing book? So I love animals. I love learning about animals. And so let's get ready for our book, Meet the Animals. Okay. Again, check out the back here. We have some words with endings. Okay. Cover those up and make the word shorter. Sleep ing. Sweep ing. And What's fun is we had some of the same words on this page. So they won't be new to you, but it's still needed practice, okay? All right, moms, dads, family members, very important back here. If we've already read the stories and we're getting a little sick of reading the stories, words in isolation, great practice. Book 117, Meet the Animals. Do you see your long E spelling in the title? Yeah, you do, right here. Meat, there we go. Now, do you remember? That's a homophone. This means to come together or to be introduced. There's another kind of meat. Do you know what it is? like a steak or a hamburger. Ready? On page one. We are going to learn about what on this page? Chicks. I'm going to think, be thinking in my mind that this is a nonfiction or an informational book because it could be all true facts. Ready? Meet three chicks. Chicks go Chicks feed on seeds and greens. Green what? Green licorice? <laughs> no. Green grass, green weeds, plants. Yeah. All right. 
Page two. Ready, read. C three sheep by a tree. One, two, three, and there's the tree. Sheep feed on green grass. Did you guys already know that? Of course, you might see sheep out grazing. Okay, page three. Meet a pig. Pigs like to be in mud. I knew that. This pig's feet are deep in nice damp mud. Okay, see our apostrophe S here. That means what? The pig owns the feet, right? If we didn't put that apostrophe in there, that would be plural for pig, two pigs, five pigs, a million pigs. But that apostrophe S means there's something that the pig owns. Page four. The animals are sleeping. Lee is sweeping. She keeps this place nice. Oh my gosh. We are reviewing Gentle Cindy right here and Gentle Cindy right here. Remember that E super bossy on this word makes the I say its name, makes the C say S. Gentle Cindy, same on place. Be careful on sweeping sleeping. Okay. Be careful on that. Those words that look a lot alike can trick us up. Well, you say, not me. What do you mean trick me up? I'm a careful reader and I practice all the time. So I don't get tricked up by that. Okay. Hey, it's been fun for another video of Read with Mrs. Larson. I'll see you guys at the next one. Keep on reading. Miss you guys. Bye.